Hello, friends, family, and America. Afro Prepper here, and uh, there's another one for this evening. Uh, again, I wanted to say thank you to all uh, subscribers newly brought to me by um, my man Arizona Public. Uh, thank you again, and let's get into it. I wanted to speak on two different subjects, uh, vitamins and nutrition, and move on into um, building a stronger relationship through prepping. Okay, Again, let's start here. Vitamins and nutrition. Uh, back in the Great Depression, uh, one of America's biggest kept secrets is that they did some very gruesome things to children. Okay, um, And there were a lot of child deaths due to lack of vitamin K, which is a basic component to um, development uh, as far as growth is concerned in kids and brain function. Okay, So I wanted to go down a list of vitamins that uh, I'd personally try to keep in the house and have been stocking up on um, because um, if you if you search uh, UK outlaws uh, or UK tries to ban vitamin supplements you know you come up with some articles and obviously you everyone out there knows that uh, the UK is a more of a police state than we are another reason why I'm trying to figure out why people is actually paying attention to that you know royal wedding um, at the beginning of this month hmm. You be the judge, but a um, couple things that I've been stocking up here on our vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K, fish oils, omega threes. Also, a great supplement for the omega threes are um, picking up on some flaxseed if you can find it. Also, ginger root. I was listening to uh, Dr. Babcock today on Alex Jones when he was, he was speaking of um, the nano particles of aluminum that's also known as a chemtrail they're saturating not only America with it but around the world and that gets in not only the air that we breathe but also the, the, the soil which our food comes from and also the water table so to prevent um, some different things like that you want to make sure that you that you stock up on some ginger root which also goes into the um, point about that fuji was it fujikima or uh, i'm sorry i'm pronouncing it wrong it's been a long day but uh, everybody knows the nuclear reactor is over in japan blowing up and they're still spewing stuff in the atmosphere so um, ginger root is one thing that has been proven to uh, prevent some of those particles from collecting in your bones Okay, so ginger root, folks, and you can get that in a powdered form. Uh, ginseng, garlic oils, um, men or women's uh, multivitamin, stock up on that. If you have children, stock up on some multivitamins for your kids also. I remember when I was a kid, I was always used to take the, the Flintstone vitamins and stuff, but uh, make it a game with the kids per se. All right? Also, ginkgo biloba. All right. And also calcium. Those are just a few of the ones that uh, we've stocked up on um, to supplement the foods that we eat. We do our best to buy organic and, and eat home cooked food as much as possible to avoid some of those um, nasty things that are out there. Also, folks, cholesterol is not bad. I mean, yes, you can have too high of a cholesterol. Um, however, you do need cholesterol for brain function. Okay? Next. Building a stronger relationship through prepping. This is kind of a... a I haven't really seen any videos talking about this at all. But um, you want to build a stronger relationship, start prepping. Granted, it's, gonna t it's like anything in a relationship. It tends to be a two-way street. But... Um, uh, building a stronger relationship because you're starting to do activities together. Um, the husband doesn't just come home, pop on some sports center, and just sit in front of the television. The wife does doesn't watch, you know, what, whatever females watch on television, the Lifetime Network, and just watch television. But through prepping, whether it be food, weapons, gardening, um, you know, stocking up on different things like uh, pest control items. Or, you know, again, food, um, you begin doing things together, which is in return is going to promote more conversation and it actually becomes something that's fun for you both to do. And it builds your relationship that way because you're not just in front of the idiot box all day, folks. 
So uh, consider that as something that might possibly help and um, in your relationship if it um, is suffering from um, one person calling the other person crazy. You know, use it as a game or as an activity to bring you both together and see just what two people can do. Um, the, the, the wonderful thing about being in a relationship or being married is that it's supposed to promote just growth because you're combining, you know, both sexes to for one common goal. And that's to unite and build something, you know, have your tree bear fruit, folks, bear fruit, good fruit. So the kids don't have to suffer. Quite frankly, if any of you adults ever try to come over here asking for stuff, I'll tell you to go wait in your car. You know, send the kids up. Because those are the ones who I care about. You know, you're a grown person. You're supposed to know better. Sometimes you get too old to be stupid. So, Afro Prepper, quick video. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Remember, vitamins and nutrition are key. You know, a lot of people talk about fighting. You can't fight if you have no nutrition or no energy. All right. Now, so try some strategies as far as building your relationship that you might be in or uh, future relationships, unless they're just beat beat sessions and um, and see how it works out for you. Welcome. Any responses, any comments? Thank you all for tuning in to Afro Preppers channel. And guess what he will do? Catch you on the flip side.